Welcome to another video. You asked, I answered. Freefall Sweetheart is asking, bro, can you make a video about how to beat Siana Yaku by using Jin? Let's try. All right, so Jin is, I haven't really been messing with him too much. He's pretty, actually pretty nasty. Um, rear attack with him is pretty good. They seem to survive really well. Okay, so when you're facing Sion Yuck, what do you want? You want uh, plenty of tanks up front to handle uh, business. Sion Yuck can't hurt you. Like, she really does hardly any damage at all. So she's not going to be nuking half your, uh, your, your army into non-existence, something like that. So looking at my opponent here in this Sion Yuck form, I can see that it's got quite a significant rear attack. We're looking at five Ghost Assassins and five Magic Apprentices. So I'm going to slip a couple um, I'm going to put a couple Gobblekazis back there to hopefully handle that. Also I have opted to have a Stone Golem, three Pirate Ships, and two uh, Pumpkin Guards back there to stop that. Um, you see you have a good amount of Peltas move back a little bit and um, some pirate ships and uh, meteor golems up there for some crowd control. If you don't have meteor golems you can use Yashas or Sacred Swordsmen or Pumpkin Guards or maybe even another um, stone golem. So, Alright, here we go. I do have a couple of Orc Hunters up there also because they do some pretty good damage with um, Jin. Here we go. Okay, if Jin can move in there, and the stun works, not he just doesn't he doesn't have to not only just throw the stun on people, but just as, as when this thing is on the ground and people walk into it, they get stunned. So he can uh, he can be quite effective. Now this is a 17 uh, C on the Oc, and pretty dangerous. I just actually beat this one before. Um, so I'm not sure why I lost right there. So we're going to pull those out. We're going to pull in a couple more uh, ranges. My Peltas are a little bit far back. Maybe I'll um, move my Ballistas out to the side. Something like that. All right, here we go. All right, my guys are containing his rear attack pretty well. And that's all she wrote. Jin's just going to go in there and freeze everybody. You see my Ballista's still um, taking everybody out. So don't be afraid if you're overwhelmed at first, because if you have a good rear defenders, he had like 100 more troops than me or something like that, but they're all caught up on my rear defenders. and, and um, one single stone golem can kill, uh, I believe, seven groups of nine, 63 magic apprentices by itself. So do not fear. Sometimes, uh, as long as they're engaged and you can take out the enemy's uh, things quickly, the front stone golem. Okay, so he did manage to kill two of my stone golems right off the bat. Holy cow. Um... Look at the Ballista damage there, guys. Uh, that's right. That's a million damage with one level 9 Ballista. Um, so, Ballista do crazy damage with Jin. So much so that I think I want to try something else. I mean, I had three Ballistas, like 800,000, a million. Let's do this. And I'm still not sure where the range is on Belista, on uh, Jin's ability to, you know, boost the your damage of your troops. Is it? it but clearly, those Belistas are just doing insane damage. And they got me that time. So it'll be interesting to see what the Ballista damage is. 
And this, this sometimes if you do that, you're like, oh, one particular troop is doing like crazy damage. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty dang good. Uh, 700, 500, 500, yeah. How many, like 3 million by those, almost by themselves? What do we got here? 2.3. So 3.7 million just with the Ballistas. And somehow we still managed to lose. Not sure how we managed to lose that, guys. So you can mess with that. Um, you're like, okay, my Ballistas aren't holding good enough. Maybe I'll uh, need a couple more tanks in there. So what if I pull out my Orc Hunters and... Maybe we'll go with uh, two, something like that. Try it again. I want to keep those guys alive. I did pull out quite a few of my Peltas. The Peltas are going to do a lot of damage. But let's go some, a little bit more crowd control and see if we can uh, maybe uh, take this guy out here. So also if Jin... If Jin stays alive, see they killed him awfully fast there. I don't wonder what kind of damage my uh Okay, so even they they're doing good damage, but my front line is not holding well enough to um, work here, so we can try uh, splitting up our uh stone golems as well. I do like the, I really like the Ballistas in here for these, uh, keep in mind this is a uh, level 17, uh, Siondioc there, so not an easy task. But, as you can see, matching uh, fire with fire, uh, once Jin gets in there and starts stunning guys and giving them that uh, attack uh, damage bonus, he's pretty lethal. And we still got our Ballistas going in there too, so let's check out the damage there. So the Ballistas, 700 million for the, the tens. I mean, 700 million, 700,000 each. So it's pretty crazy damage, guys. Obviously, the Ballistas are just on steroids. Um, so with the split stone golems, um, if your opponent has a split stone golem... Oh, I didn't know I put had still had the stone golem in the middle there as well, but it seemed to work okay. So Jin, sometimes if you have just a single stone golem there, Jin will run up to the front here, and the Peltas will, uh, once Jin stuns him, they'll all turn on Jin and kill him. You don't want Jin to die. Um, so sometimes if they have split stone golems, you match their split stone golems with your split stone golems. And that can tend to do pretty well. So uh, let's pull out couple of our Belises. I know they do really good damage. And uh, we'll put in some Orc Hunters. Our opponent does not have any Goblikazis in there, so that's going to help us out there. Rear attack really coming on strong. Um, Wow, his guys managed to kill. He his guys destroyed my rear attackers, so that's not good. So if you find that your your guys are failing, um, I'm gonna pull out those guys, put in a couple um, goblikazis, and hopefully that'll keep my guys from dying so fast. Here, here we go. I wish Jin's uh, thing was a little bit, 
he's got to get really close to people to his first thing to be effective. And even though I put in those goblins, man, his back attack is just absolutely annihilating me, and I don't know why. He's killing <laughs> my stone golems without... I mean... His rear attack is just really annihilating me there. So, there's a couple things with that. Um, we can also do a single stone golem gin. Try that, maybe put some extra pirate ships in there or something. Let's do a little bit more. Put a couple ghost assassins in there too for our gin to try out with. I haven't really messed around with like what are the mo the successful troops to use for gin, but we'll give this one a go here. All right, his Siandiox is going to kill probably kill my single stone golem almost instantly. Yes, it does. Sometimes Jin migrates to the back, and we're having a hard time holding this one off, guys. Uh, so I've, I've noticed quite a bit of RNG with Jin. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, it's just random number generator, which means it's hard to figure if you're going to win or not. It, it depends on is Jin going to stun them? Is he going to give? Is he going to stun the the correct enemies? Is he going to give uh, uh, the uh, hit point? attack bonus boost to the right troops are they going to do more damage so there's a whole bunch of variables in there guys and it's hard to tell so um i need at least uh maybe a split stone golem up there i'll try to get some more uh, cannons up there to try to stave this attack off because the Andiok is just killing my guys there. So, put in some Peltas, and here we go. So, um, if you don't have Frost Archers, you can use other range. You can use um, uh, Taurus Witchers or regular Archers. And there we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Um, pretty much just destroyed him with that one. So there's, uh, you know, let's, I don't know, if we run that one again. See, both my stone golems died. Uh, nice damage by the Ballistas there. The Gobblikazis in the back, 300,000, that's good. Let's run that one again. Um, if your single stone golems dying too fast, throw in an, an another one there. So, um, this one's looking like it's doing a number on this uh, Sion Dioc here. As you can see, uh, once Jin gets into the back of the enemies there, it's pretty much over. Even though we're like we were really outgunned there. Um, Jin can do because of his stun and his damage boost it, it, it negates um, Siondiok's heal um, usually pretty good look how they're just mowing him down there Jin gets that last stun in and it's over so yeah so if uh, let's mess with our Siondiok and Say you're going up against a Sion Dioc with, uh, you know, something else like that. A single stone golem in the front. And maybe our Jin can take that one out as well. All right, this uh, Jin opts to go to the back and help out there. So it looked like we were going to just blow these guys away. But then he started coming back there. 
engine is just being frozen like an ice cube. So if the, your opponent has a single stone golem, then you can reverse uh, what he just did on him and, and do a split stone golem attack on his guy. hopefully kill his uh, his stone golem quickly and there you have it so if your opponent has a single stone golem um, you can alter your um, stone golems put them to the outside like this okay now you definitely want a pirate ship here because that's going to stun his stone golem and then your meteor golem can come in and do some damage. Ideally, I like orc hunters out here because if when you're trying to take out the middle one, um, if you have them towards the center, they can tend to push the other push the stone golem back here, and and he doesn't die. He'll, he'll like get pushed back into behind his troops, and then you can never kill him. It's not cool. So I like to put my uh, uh, orc hunters out out there to kill and we'll do something like that so this should kill his um, meteor or his stone golem quickly and then we can go on and destroy him already it dies and then what's nice about this is that um, when you do the split stone golem with Jin, he generally goes and stuns anyone around that uh, that stone golem that's up above him so it keeps that stone golem alive and when that stone golem is alive it helps your whole army survive so uh, split stone golems is, is pretty nice with Jin as you can see he can do some damage so um, I hope this helps out a little bit um, I'm not a Jin S expert by any means I'm not really an expert at all I mean I I try to offer advice and so you guys can um, uh, practice if you, if you find a tough um, uh, form like a Sion in in the battles mess with that for a while uh, take your form and uh, tweaks tweak here and there and and just mess with your range and uh, single load troops or or multi load uh, priest mages or ice mages might be good and um, so just kind of mess with that. If you don't have uh, crowd control, meteor golems, uh, uh, pumpkin guards, yashas, sacred swordsmen, all those guys can kind of be used interchangeably, even witchcraft totems in a pinch, although they're not as good as they used to be, that's for sure. Um, range, peltas, if you don't have that many peltas, you can use, um, you can put in a, a priest mage or something. Um, Peltas are kind of a unique uh, troop as far as uh, their ability to do. They're pretty integral, pretty important in most formations. So I hope this was kind of helpful. I um, hope you get some tips from it. Uh, thanks for the comment. I try to answer and get videos done for comments. I know I've been slacking a little bit. Guys, I apologize if you've asked a comment. Sometimes I forget. Um, so I try to screenshot them, but then there's so many comments I'm trying to respond to and I, sometimes I forget. So if I missed your comment, um, throw another comment out there. I'll try to answer it. I'll try to get, um, get make a video for you if that's what you want. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.